it's Miss Natasha and today we're going to talk about how to use conflict to teach. So much of what we believe about conflict comes from our own experiences growing up. For many of us, conflict was a painful experience such as yelling, screaming, physical punishment. So we want to try and change that and do it differently. So in order to do that, we have to see children that are exhibiting challenging behavior as children who are crying out for help. Hey, I'm missing a skill. Help me instead of you're being bad. So today I'm going to do three different scenarios to show you the way that a lot of us deal with children's challenging behavior and then I'm going to show you at the end the better way to deal with children's challenging behavior. So here we go. Hey boys, I gotta go to the grocery store, so let's go. We need to get off the computer. I need you to, to turn go. on the computer though. Okay, I understand. We're not doing this today though. Yes, I have to we... go to the grocery no, store. No, yes we are. I didn't get to turn on the computer. Derek, we're not doing this today. Yes, we are. Don't talk back no, to me. No, you're going to make me get a turn on the computer. If you talk back to me, you're going to your you're room. You're going to make me That's get a turn on the we're computer. Going. Let's go. go no, I room. didn't get a turn on the computer. You're going to your room. You're going to your room. That's where you're going to stay. You don't talk to me like that. You stay in your room. But I didn't get a turn on the computer. You stay in your room. Do you understand me? Do not talk to me like that. That was scenario number one. In scenario number two, I'm going to try and make Derek feel better about missing a turn on the computer. Hey boys, I gotta go to the grocery store, so wrap it up. Let's no, go. No, I didn't get a turn on the computer though. Oh, you didn't get a turn on the computer? No. Well, can you get a turn when we get back? I mean, we're just going to be gone for a few minutes. I just gotta go get some milk. Can I got a few minutes. I want it right now. I know you want it right now. So, since we have to go to the grocery store, how about if I get you some ice cream when we leave the grocery store. Would that be good? Yeah. What about you? Do you want some ice cream? Yeah. All right, so let's go to the grocery store and on the way back, I'll get us all some ice cream. All right. Now we're gonna do scenario number three. In this scenario, I'm actually going to try and acknowledge how Derek is feeling about missing a turn on the computer and then help him through it. Hey boys! Come on, let's go. We can gotta I get a, the grocery can I get a turn on the computer first? Oh, you didn't get a turn on the computer? No, Parker wasn't wanting to share. Okay, I understand, but um, we really have to go to the grocery store, so can you take a turn later? No, I need one right now. You do? Yes, I need one. I see. It's important. I see, I see. So your arms are going like this, and your face is going like this. You seem disappointed that you are not getting a turn on the computer. You got this. You can handle this. I know it's hard when you don't get a turn on the computer when you were hoping to. But you got this, and we're going to handle it together. So in that scenario, I was trying to help Derek recognize his feeling by saying, your arms are going like this, your face is going like this. I was naming the feeling that he was feeling at the time and then I told him that he can handle it and that we'll get through it together. So the reason that that's important is because children are not always going to get what they want. Nobody always gets what they want. So we want to teach them that it's okay to feel what we're feeling in the moment because sometimes the moment just is as it is and we can't change it. So I hope that that helps you with some conflict resolution and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.